Hello, everyone. And my name is Kim, and I'm from the Lake Villa District Library, and I'm here for Fresh Look Fridays. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey through some books that have arrived at the library that are made for birth to lower elementary. They're picture books you can read aloud to your children when they're small, up to beginner readers, up to the sixth graders that are ready to move on. The first book I'd like to show to you today is Pete the Cat Super Pete by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat is on another adventure. He is a cat turned superhero who's going to help the mayor save the day by catching the bad guys who commit a robbery. Will Pete the Cat save the day? Again, Pete the Cat is always on a fun adventure discovering new things and trying out new things. We love Pete at the library here. Unicorn and Yeti, cheer up. This is another Blue Dot book, a beginner reader book that you can check out from the library. Unicorn and Yeti go on three adventures, three short stories throughout this book. So your beginner reader can take their time and split the story up so they can uh, read the book at their own pace. The text and dialogue is sort of set up like a graphic novel as well too. The text is in speech bubbles of what Unicorn and Yeti both say. So this way your beginner readers can take their time and just focus on what's in the speech bubble. Join Unicorn and Yeti as they go on an adventure on a trail. They try some icicles to see if it's a tasty treat. And we're gonna see what Unicorn gives Yeti for a gift. You'll have to read to find out and see if Yeti likes it. Next, I'm gonna move on to some picture books that we have at the library. There are red dot books. The first one we have is Snow Song by A.K. Riley. This is about a girl and her adventure going through the snow with her friends on a snowy day. The illustrations are beautiful and the perspective of the illustrations take on a different look on every other page. They did an amazing job with it. The dialogue and text is written like a poem. You will go through this and you'll love the muted tones of the pictures and the softness of the words. And it does feel like snow is falling all around you. You will love this book. Do you like donuts? I love donuts. So if you like donuts and I love donuts, then you're gonna love this book that I loved. Hello Arnie and Arnie the Donut Story by Lori Keller. You're gonna join Arnie on an adventure trying to figure out what kind of donut you are. He knows all the donuts and he's gonna go through his list and try to figure out which donut you are. You will see what Arnie has decided, what kind of donut you are in the end, and see if you'll be hungry after reading this story like I was. You'll love it. And our last book that I'd like to share with you is actually a graphic novel in our youth section. It's Measuring Up by Lily Lamont. This is by far my favorite graphic novel of the year so far. It is a refreshing story about a girl named Cece and her family. Cece decides to join a cooking class and test her strength and knowledge of all her cooking skills that she learned from her grandma. This book also touches on family dynamics, fitting in with friends when you're a different race and have different cultural traditions, and the stress of trying to balance it all when you're the sage. This book is a must read. It is a breath of fresh air. Definitely great for those middle schoolers, late elementary kids. A must read for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day. Please join us next time in finding out what new books have arrived at the library. Goodbye.